there was a lot of work that went into ve developing this drug. There's a lot of logistics that are involved with administering the drug. Um, and all of that tends to drive the price uh, quite high. And this is one of the things that has been a, uh, uh, a negative in wide adoption of Provenge is that a lot of people are concerned about the, about the high cost. But you really have to put it in perspective. You have to look at the amount of development that went into this particular product, and you have to look at some of the logistics. And the logistics involving uh, processing centers uh, and more processing centers are, are being uh, rolled out across the United States. Originally, there was really only two processing centers on the East Coast and, and on the West Coast when the uh, product first came out. Now there's more processing centers around because after the patients go to the um, infusion center or the local blood bank to have the leukapheresis performed, the cells have to be shipped away to a processing plant. The cells have to be treated in sterile conditions, modified, and then sent back to the patient. So there's a lot of logistics involved with it. So cost has been one concern, uh, but another concern is the logistics. And since the patient has to be treated um, over about a four-week period, getting three leukapheresis and three infusion cycles, it is quite a, uh, a significant uh, amount of effort that goes into it. Having said that, when you really compare the price of Provenge and compare that with some of our other uh, medications that are out there for other cancers such as melanoma or breast cancer that can be given often uh, not only for a short period of time but be given it uh, month after month in patients with long survivals, the cost while the initial uh, sticker shock is there, when you compare it with some of our other new therapeutics for these other conditions, it's really not that far out of line when it comes to a new and novel treatment for cancer.